Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. Just popping in. Let me help you understand something. Something that I was thinking about that a lot of people don't understand because you don't understand spirits. So here's the thing. Sometimes when you are, when you operating and you operating in a realm where there's a lot of spiritual warfare, you're going to have times where you will be combated where other spirits will come up against you and what you have to realize is those spirits can be spirits don't care who they use so a spirit will use a woman a spirit will use a child a spirit will use a man a spirit will use a transgender Spirit to use heterosexual, homosexual, asexual. A spirit don't care who it uses. And in the Bible, you saw Jesus call out a spirit in one of his disciples. Well, he spoke to the spirit and he said, Satan, get thee behind me. What you may hear me say sometimes is, dummy. I'm talking to a spirit. I'm not even looking at who the person is. I'm not looking at whether it's a man, whether it's a woman, whether it's a teenager. I ain't looking at who it is because if the person coming in the form of a spirit to sow discord, to distract, to disrupt the message that's going forward, I'm calling them out. And so what you have to realize is when you are in a place where there's a lot of stones being thrown at you because you're speaking truth and this might be on your job this might be with your family this might be in in social media you have to have your own defense mechanisms and people who are not standing on standards and speaking truth to power have no place in telling you how you should be handling it or how you should respond because if they had to even experience a tenth of what you have to speak to then they would have a different vantage point a different viewpoint so as far as I'm concerned, I don't take advice from critics. I don't take advice from spectators. If I take advice unsolicited, it's advice that I go seek out online. It's advice that I go seek out in a book, seek out in, a, in, a, in the Holy Bible. That's advice that I'm looking for. I don't respond to unsolicited advice and most people don't, but yet we will send it. And I've been guilty of that sad thing. And I forget the lesson that I learned in Hollywood where you send a script to a Hollywood studio, they will send it back to you unopened inside of another envelope with a letter and that letter will say thank you so much for your submission but unfortunately we do not accept unsolicited materials what you have sent has not been opened has not been seen and will never be opened or seen unless we receive it with agent representation if you would like for us to see your submission, please enlist the services of a certified agent and have your agent get in touch with us. We have to take that same advice. When you get to a place to where you are investing in somebody's business, you are supporting somebody with your dollars 
then they more likely to hear you. But they're not going to hear you just because you live across the street. They're not going to hear you when you distant. But see, one thing about it is what you'll find is when you get closer to a person, when you actually start supporting somebody, when you actually in a corner and you're not a spectator, what you realize, you start to know their heart. You start to know their heart, then you get a better understanding of them. So guess what? My wife could give me <clears throat> insight because she stands next to me. My father, my mother, my sister, my supporters who have really doubled down. I got a program that's a year of coaching. All of those clients in that year of coaching that cost $7,500 to where we launching their business, we launching their brand, we going to the next level. I'm giving them every resource, every connection that I've built over 15 years. I'm holding nothing back. I'm giving them my intellectual property that they could use as their own forever without having to pay any fees or royalties on top of their membership or, or them signing up for the program. Guess what? Those individuals could speak to me and say, Tony, I've been feeling this. And I could hear them. But even then, I, I still have to take it and weigh it against the spirit. I have to take it and wear it against the spirit because Judas stood right next to Jesus. Was right amongst them. See, sometimes you got to realize that we also can't feel privileged or that we got the right to speak into somebody's life just because we didn't stood next to him. So that's what I need you to realize and understand as well. Y'all forgive me, I had to get around a little car. I don't know what he was going on with brakes. I'm gonna be careful what he got going on. So that's another thing. So here's the thing. Nobody is changing for you if you have not made a change in their life. That's why the saying, no rules without a relationship. So you got to be mindful of this when you trying to help your loved one or your friend, which is still a loved one, change, grow, evolve, learn, adapt. You got to have a relationship. People can't hear us if we haven't built a relationship. So you got to realize when I come on here every day and I'm talking for an hour, that's building a relationship with those who God has called me to help. And I'm not posting on their page. I'm not emailing it into their inbox. I'm not sending it as a text message. That would be unsolicited. I'm posting it on my page. And if you click on my page to watch it, that means you are soliciting my insight. So therefore, that means you are seeking to learn more about me and from me to see if God has given me something that can help you. And then when you get what has helped you, hopefully you will be encouraged to weigh your heart and see what God has given you that possibly could help someone else. 
and then you can post that on your page which then will be suggested to people that you do not know and you will not want to hear their opinion about you and your post unless they truly know and support and love you and so this is what you have to realize I say that to say anything that I'm teaching on don't be shallow minded to just think that oh Tony is talking to me about himself and about his life or about his haters or about his wife or about his children take the lesson see I learned from Jesus that I speak in parables take the lesson and apply it to your life that's the benefit of watching somebody if you are watching me and you're not applying it to your life meaning if you're not analyzing it according to your life and according to the lives that you have access to then that is idolatry if you're watching me just to hear me talk about me and you're not getting a lesson from what I'm saying even if I'm using myself as an example that is idolatry and that is a sin never watch somebody to admire them or to watch them watch them to learn and to grow even if they are using themselves as an example so let me help you understand if I'm watching somebody vlog all the vlog is is a showcase of what of somebody life what they doing on a day-to-day -day. that's all the vlog is but I'm not going to watch the vlog just to watch the vlog I'm gonna watch the vlog to see what personality traits do they have that I want to adopt I want to learn from and what personality traits do they have that I don't want to adopt I want to see what things they buy that I want to buy and what things they buy that I don't want to buy I want to see how they manage their time how they manage their money and I want to get a lesson from it I'm not just watching them because I adore them and I want to be them or I want to trade places with them I'm watching them because there are lessons that I could learn that they don't even know that they're teaching. <clears throat> and that's how we're supposed to watch people because there's wisdom in a multitude of counsel. Somebody could be counseling you without you knowing they're counseling you. You got to get the lesson. So, hey, it's Tony Gaston wanting to share that with you and wanting to tell you that don't waste your time trying to give critique and advice to somebody that don't know you in their personal space meaning on their text message or in their inbox help the people that you are around and that you call to help and then pray to God that the people who have influence in somebody in this person's life will speak into their life if they need to hear something from God. So this is what you got to understand. You have to realize that everything ain't for everybody. So everything ain't gonna be for you to butt your nose in and you ain't gonna understand everything something's gonna be over your head something's gonna be out of your reach out of your range you got to understand that and the Lord has convicted me on that because what the Lord what, what will happen is I'll see somebody who live in a certain way they doing a certain thing I may not agree with it I'll send them unsolicited advice to they to their inbox the Lord convicted me about that and say 
Them people don't know you. People don't care nothing about what you think. And all you're going to do is just be a spur in their heel. Be a snake at their ankle. That's not going to be received. You ain't done nothing for them. You ain't sold into their life. It would even be different if you paid for a VIP meet and greet like my sister just did for her and her daughter to meet Lil Baby. Lil Baby like my niece t-shirt she had on because it had his face on there. And they like Lil Baby. That they like, that they choice. <laughs> Them tickets cost money. You can't, you can't ask me for no money after you done paid for VIP to see Lil Baby. That mean you got it. I ain't got it. But listen, had right there, they said to them, they said, had they said to Lil Baby, hey, Lil Baby, I don't like when you said such and such in a song, because that really hurt my feelings as a woman. They invested in his life. They invested in him. He gonna hear them if they would have said that. No, they ain't feel like that. They ain't say nothing like that. But I'm just saying, if they woulda, he woulda heard them before he heard somebody who sent his, his sent him an email, <clears throat> who he don't know from a can of paint. You see what I'm saying? So, and even then, he still <clears throat> don't necessarily mean he gonna listen to him. Oh, all right, appreciate you, appreciate you. You know how you know how I find that out? Shaquille O'Neal said a lady told him. She ain't like the fact that an old black lady. She ain't like the fact that she couldn't afford his shoes for her grandson because he charged too much money for the regular people to afford his shoes. He took and left Reebok and went and made a shoe with Walmart. Sold more shoes than anybody never sold, probably other than Michael Jordan. <clears throat> He heard that woman because she was in proximity. She was right there close enough to him to say that to him. She was in his face. You see what I'm saying? You got to have proximity to reach the people you trying to reach in your life with a message. Because otherwise, you could be seen as one demon protecting another. Got to understand that. So, and here's the other thing. When, when it's spiritual, you can't handle a woman different than you handle a man if they operate with the same spirit. Their gender don't matter. If they speaking from a spirit, from a demonic place, if they speaking from a place that will hinder your life, you have to treat them the same. You don't say, well, I'm gonna tolerate this one because this spirit is inhabiting a woman, so I'm gonna tolerate it. But I wouldn't tolerate this spirit if it was inhabiting a man. You address it the same way. Because both of them could kill you. Both of them could distract you. Both of them could derail you. Both of them can destroy you. You handle the spirit as a spirit, not as a person, not as a gender. That spirit could be in a child. Guess what? You handle the spirit the same way. <clears throat> you may still have to rebuke it and remove it. So this what got to be understood. Oh, okay, that's a Bentayga with a little more power on it. Okay, like a Bentayga's one of those Bentayga speed. All right, I like that. Look good now. Get one of those. Hey, so listen to me and get that in your spirit. It's Tony Gaffin. God bless you. We got the author's boot camp, the publishing boot camp coming up in a few weeks. Make sure you visit TonyGaffinsAcademy.com. Get that in your spirit. That's coming up. Don't miss it. God bless you. We'll talk soon.